Hello, friends. <laughs> it's been a minute, hasn't it? Well, it all depends on where my editing schedule turns out, but I feel like it's been a minute since I've been on camera, and uh, I'm not exactly prepared to be on camera. Yes, I am still in my bathrobe. But uh, yesterday, I did a huge project that I did not film for you. So all of you that show up to see me doing hard manual labor missed out because I didn't film it. But what I did yesterday was I um, cleaned the, the curbs along my street. So in front of my house and along the empty lot next door that I own. I uh, got my uh, little wagon and a flat-sided spade and I scraped and chopped and lifted and toted the crud from the gutters, the curbs along the side of my house. And I thought it was going to be, I knew it was going to be a job, but I didn't realize I didn't think it was, I thought it would be like an hour or two. One little section of curb from here, like no wider than even I could reach, would fill the four cubic foot dumper wagon thing I had. So, took many a load. And so now my hamstrings and my low back and a little bit my arms um, and hips are killing me today. But what I am doing, and why I invited you along, brought you along, and I apologize too because I can't find my microphones. It's been so long since I've uh, filmed something, I don't know where my microphones are. And then I didn't look very hard, to be quite honest. So these pumpkins were my fall decorations. So this is this like pink warty one. And then I have this golden warty gourd that came from my sister's house in Chicago. It was a volunteer. We don't know exactly, you know, who its parentage is, but it grew up in her backyard and um, it had a very nice life, not too much childhood trauma. So it should be sweet and nice. And then there's this monster, hold on. Oh my God, am I strong enough today to lift this? Probably not. But it's like one of those Cinderella pumpkins, like those flat, smooshy ones, but it's white. Okay, oh, put that back there. That's like a 20 pump pumpkin, I swear. Maybe more. Well, one, I wanted to save the seeds because I want to grow these again. And I think, from some research that I've done, I, I'd have to, maybe if I look it up when I'm editing, I'll, I'll put what I think the uh, types are. If you want to buy your own seeds, unless I clean enough seeds and put them for sale on my shop, that's an idea. Um, I think they are heirloom pumpkins. And so that means that the seeds, they're not hybrids, the seeds should breed true. So if I were to um, plant the seeds, I should get the same pumpkins next year. And I paid them. What seemed like a lot of money for a couple, just Chris for a couple Halloween decorations that I didn't even carve, which these kind of wouldn't carve anyway. But anyway, but anyway, as I say all the time, I did a little research on the types of pumpkins these are, and I discovered that yes, they are heirloom if they're what I think they are, and they are good eating pumpkins. So. I am going to can them, and I'm going to not have to buy canned pumpkin. Not that I buy a lot of canned pumpkin, because I'm not really a big pumpkin pie fan, but there's a lot of things you can do with canned pumpkin, uh, you know, and baking and things like that. So I'm like, well, if I have it, I'll probably use it. Um, I might not make a pumpkin pie. If I had thought about this a few weeks ago, I would have made some for Thanksgiving, but... Um, I was asked to bring the ice to Thanksgiving this year. Isn't that an insult? I think it is. Um, 
Unless you're one of my friends that I asked to bring ice to something at my house at some point. And that wasn't an insult. It was just that Steve had made all the food we could ever need and used all the ice in his cocktails while making it. So we needed more ice. That's all. But anyway. And we didn't have pie at Thanksgiving. And I was like, well, why didn't somebody tell me you weren't going to have pie? Because I would have made pie. But that's a whole other thing. I didn't make pie, but I might make pie. Uh, I don't make pies very often because I'm not going to eat a whole pie by myself. And, yeah, and I actually did buy some like mini pie plates, but I haven't quite mastered making a pie mini and getting the ratio to a crust to filling. Uh, can you tell this is a completely impromptu, I'm just going to put the camera up, not plan it at all kind of video? Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway. I am going to can this pumpkin. Oh, and another use that I use quite often for pumpkin, and I always tell myself I'm going to can, even if it's just my, you know, front porch, you know, orange jack o' lantern pumpkins, uh, and I never do it. It's because the, for the old, old man who's standing down here looking at me, uh, my dog, if you're new here, he likes pumpkin. He likes all vegetables, but uh, he was waiting for one to go flying off his cutting board. It did earlier. Now he, he got rewarded and now he thinks that's forever. Um, but if you've got it, now he's not in this classification anymore, but as a lab, and he's not my first lab, labs tend to get, can tend to get a little overweight and they're always hungry. If you've ever had a lab, you know what I'm talking about. So adding a cup or so of canned pureed pumpkin to their food dish can really uh, fill them up without adding a lot of calories. And all the extra vitamins and things in the pumpkin is really good for them. So just like his sweet potato treats that I made a couple months ago, canned pumpkin is in that classification too. So we're not going to go through the whole day, I just wanted to get on here and chat while I did something because I haven't chatted with you in a while and I haven't edited a video in a while. I have a couple. I just, I've been busy with other things. I've been doing a little bit more pet sitting again and I've been working with a friend doing some projects for her. Well, you saw one of them during Samhain, I posted it. Um, and I don't know, I just haven't been doing much that has been, I feel, YouTube worthy. I want only the best for you. Except you're all like, yeah, we subscribe, girl. We know it's not, yeah. But if you don't subscribe, I'd love it if you did. I'm very close to 500 subscribers which was my goal for Samhain for October, and it didn't quite happen. Um, but it's come closer, and if I had stayed consistent after October, maybe it would have been more likely to happen. I'm, yeah, I know how things work. But uh, I am not going to do Vlogmas. That starts in a couple days. No, uh, that's not happening. So. But I think the hardest part about, no, it's kind of the hardest part about any big job like this, is the prep work. Painting, same thing. You know, there it's sitting here peeling the rind off the pumpkin meat. And I think I'm going to do these. Well, right now my dishwasher's running, which I apologize. It's probably making the sound awful because um, I'm cleaning and sanitizing my... Uh, jars for this and by the size and weight of that white pumpkin there's a lot of pumpkin there so i think i'm gonna just do this pink pumpkin now i gotta get the canner out uh get my everything all prepped that way we'll start there and then uh if i still have it in me i'll do the white pumpkin too, but I don't know that I'm going to do them both today. 
but most of the time with this with any canning it's the prep work takes the most time and then you know once you get them in the jars and in the can in the canner it's just waiting for it to reach pressure and kind of babysitting it and i figured today that's about all the energy i had was to, to babysit i got too much water in my stock pot over here but i'll take care of that in a minute good thing i left it in the sink and not on the stove but canning pumpkin seems to be a pretty easy thing oh i didn't get all the seeds out of this one uh it's just cleaning out the inside just like you would if you were making a jack-o-lantern well, except I don't cut the top off. I cut it into wedges like a melon. Um, and I didn't really do that on this one very well, uh, this side. And then you get the, the rind off it, the peel. And most of these pumpkins that are good eating pumpkin, the skin is pretty thin. So that shouldn't take too long, in theory. Okay. What else have I been doing? See, one other project I've been work, trying to work on, which I haven't really shown you much of, I don't think. Oh, I forgot about that project. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here um, that I just haven't had the energy to share with y'all. Um, but this front yard garden thing, and it needs leaves or compost or something on top of the cardboard that a friend spread out there for me thinking they were doing me a favor, which they in a way were, but I just wasn't ready for this job yet. And I came home from vacation and there was cardboard all over my front lawn, which was fine because I was going to do that. I wasn't going to do it until I had the leaves and the other stuff to go to cover it up. So since late August or so, September, whenever that was, I don't remember which vacation. My, that makes it sound like I go on vacation all the time. I don't, I just happened to go two, diff two different times this summer and that was unusual for me and I can't keep track of which one was which. But anyway, my front, half of my front lawn has been covered with just random cardboard boxes. And you know, people don't always do things the way you would have done them if you had done them one of those things uh so there's see when i put the cardboard down i make sure i put the inside of the cardboard facing up so you don't see what the box you know like the wording on the box just a little thing because it's gonna get covered anyway but still it since it's had to sit and be observed you know be out in the open all this time it is kind of annoying but Anyhow, I have started to try to find leaves. You know, people bag their leaves and put them out on the street this time of year. It's what people do. They don't realize what they're throwing away, but you know, what can we do, right? And I even put a thing on a local Facebook group that if you have leaves, I'll take your leaves. If I were 20 years younger, I'd come and rake them for you and take them, but I don't have that energy. Uh, and if you see a crazy lady in a Mini Cooper shoving bags of leaves in the back seat of her tiny car, it's me, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing any harm, just taking your leaves. Anyway, I did have someone come forward and say, hey, I have a truck, I'll help you. We'll go leaf hunting together. Um, nice older gentleman, I guess I'm an older woman, so whatever, but he's not, he's older than me. And uh, we were going to do that the other day. Well, on his way to my house, he drove through the neighborhood that we were going to go pick up leaves at, and the city had already picked him up, which is kind of humorous because the public works in this town doesn't do a lot <laughs> most of the time or in a timely manner. So the fact that they're on the ball picking up the leaves is kind of funny in my in my mind because 
the one thing that they could leave out there for three or four days and I'd be more than happy to take care of for them for free, they pick up within moments of it, seeming moments, but not quite, of it going to the street. So anyway, we didn't get our leaves. He, he found some up the street from me and brought those, but it, it hardly made a dent. And then of course the work I did yesterday, a lot of that I put on my garden, but a lot of that had a lot of crabgrass and other stuff. So I didn't really want that in my flower beds. So I had to be a little selective. And um, so yeah, that's been a project I've been working on. There's also, yeah, just, I have one that I think today when, I, when I'm sitting waiting for my canner to finish, I will probably get in there and edit. So you'll see it probably before you see this one. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I do tend in November to get into house troll mode. I just don't I get kind of antisocial. And I get, it's not a, well, sometimes it's a weather thing, but it's not the weather down here. It's, this is like the best time of year, weather-wise down here. So that has actually been very enjoyable to get out and do things outside with this kind of weather, but um, it's more just a, just a thing. Let's wave the knife around willy-nilly and uh, make people nervous anyway so that's probably why I have not been updating and posting and editing and because I'm just kind of in a private mode I go into private mode uh, this time of year and it makes um, holiday cheer a little difficult but most of those most of people that know me know that this is not my season and grant me some grace around that. So, and if they don't, well, I have words, but I won't say them. Anyway, oh. Yeah, this is gonna fill this stock pot, this one small, well, it's not really small pump, average size pump is going to fill the stock pot. And actually, if I do it this way, and not both pumpkins in one batch, then I'll be able to label my jars. Like this was the pink warty pumpkin. Maybe I'll even look up what its real name is. And so when I make a pie out of it or something, I will, if I like it, I'll be like, oh, that was the good one. We liked that one. Let's use that one again. And, uh, And if we don't, we'll know Pink Warty Pumpkin is a dog pumpkin. We'll give that one to the dog. But I feel that the 12 Wide North Mouth pint jars that I put in this dishwasher to, to uh, sanitize this morning might not be enough. They might be enough for this pumpkin, but I start getting into that big white pumpkin and I might need to do quart jars, which I'll have to look at recipes. Do I have recipes that take quart jar of pumpkin? Oh, pumpkin soup. That's an, I mean, I like, I make butternut squash soup. And see now a lot of people will tell you, again, I'm talking with my hands, I eat my knife, sorry, um, that they use they can butternut squash and use butternut squash in their pies instead of pumpkin. And that's a good advice too. And I was thinking at some point here this winter, when there were a nice selection of butternut squashes at the store, that I would go buy some and do just that. <laughs> Not gonna do that now because this is going to be enough pumpkin type action for the next couple winters, I'm thinking. I don't think I'll even need to, I'll grow them next year. I'm gonna save the seeds and grow them next year. 
because I'm thinking that perhaps I'll be able to sell some pumpkins, maybe put up a little, little garden stand out there in my yard. And, you know, a couple days a week, just have a vegetable stand. See what people, for the excess that I don't need. And then also I'll donate some of it to the mission for something here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of gourd in there. That might be, might be all that can handle. We'll see. I'm going to dry my hands. Um, yeah, so, okay. I think I've chatted enough with you. I'm going to pause this video and finish this and uh, come back when I've got something else to say. Well, hey there. It's Editing Beth, who just watched myself can pumpkins for 20 minutes and say, I'll pause this and come right back. And I never came back. Um... Suffice it to say, I canned about eight quarts, no, eight pints of pumpkin, chunked pumpkin, and it turned out really good, and I still haven't gotten back around to the white pumpkin, and I will, uh, but it's a winter squash. If you store them right, they'll be fine for quite a while, as long as they don't have any, you know, cuts or soft spots. So, that didn't happen, <laughs> and now I am... Uh, yeah, I'm back pet sitting. Mm -hmm. Hello, love. Yeah, okay. And um, editing videos while I'm what, pet watching these big galoops. <laughs> you doofus. Anyway, and uh, realized, oh, I can't finish this video because I never came back. So here I am back, and uh, Mambo says hi. And she's like, yeah, I like pumpkin. Yeah, I didn't bring you any girl. <laughs> but she hears me talking, and she thinks I'm talking to her. So anyhow... Uh, that's all I had. I just canned pumpkin one day and I thought I'd share it with you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And, uh, I'll see you on the next video that I pull up here and see if I have actually ever finished making it. Yeah, I learned nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, if I can't laugh at myself, who I can't laugh at anyone because, yeah, um, here we are. Bye.